Yo, what is up guys? Uh, in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to show you how to like fix display issues with like internal capture card and to be specific, this one's the 4K60 Pro. I don't know if it works with the uh, HD60 Pro or whatever it's called, the other internal one. But uh, basically, the problems that I'm having is uh, getting just like getting it so this display is the main display and it actually displays the 144 hertz and it like everything is like good like instead of it being all messed up so uh one of the first things you want to do kind of hard to explain it's so like annoying but I'll, I'll try to show you guys what i mean the best as possible so in the display settings the first thing you want to do is you want to go into display settings so you want to right click click display settings and here, this is where I'll show you, uh, like, what displays are which. So this one, number two, is my actual monitor. Number one is my second monitor. And then number three is, like, the, it just generates a, moder uh, a monitor type thing. But it's uh, for your Elgato, basically. So you don't really need it, like I'll show you. So if you scroll down to the bottom, and you click Advanced Display Settings. This is where you can cycle between displays and tell which ones are which, like which displays or which numbers. And this is also where you can check your refresh rate and stuff. So display two, which is my actual monitor, the one I game on. Right now it says 144. If you're having problems where it says 60 hertz, uh, and then it's just like all messed up, and it has you should have like three of them, one, and the two of them be the exact same because it just like generates. It's weird, but just find out which one's actually your monitor. Mine is display two my actual monitor so after you find out which two or like if you have two of them just make sure you find out which two are your actual monitors and which one's like not the real one it's just like the generated one and then you want to basically click on that one so this is the one i don't want i'll click on it i'll scroll down and in the uh, multiple display section you can click on it and you'll uh, at the bottom it'll say like if i click on this right here just disconnect display disconnect this display this will basically like just get rid of it you don't really need it so then after that, uh, the next step should be to open up the 4K uh, 60 Pro software. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to switch over to the streaming PC. So now you can see my streaming PC. And I'm going to minimize this to show you. So now I'm going to go over here to where my 4K capture utility is. I'll load it up real fast to show you. And then up in the top right is the settings. So you go into the settings and then over here into the device. This is where you can customize things for your uh, 4K 60 Pro. Uh, the HDMI color range, I just leave it on expand. That's what it's usually at. But the input EDID mode is what you really want to do. What this allows is for you to actually see. So you have a 144 hertz monitor. It's printed at one. It's printed at 60. Now then you see your actual hertz. So you want to put this to display. It should be on merge. Just change it to display. This is, means it's like capturing your display in whatever settings. So like I'm playing on my settings, but it's capturing in whatever settings you have it. So it's recorded to. So that's the main thing you want to do is make sure that's on display. And then after that, that's basically the only thing you have to do in here. Just make sure that says display. You can change this to like expand or it just basically is like the color. I just have mine expand because. Some people said expands better, but uh, so I'm gonna X that out of this now. Don't need this. After you change it, make sure you save it. And I'm gonna go back into OBS and go over to my recording PC. So now I'm back at my recording PC, and this is uh, where you wanna go back into display settings again. Right click display settings. Uh, once again, this should be your like monitor that you don't need that just got added. Make sure that's disconnected, and then. Once again, you might have to rearrange the order of your monitors because it, whenever it adds the third one, it messes everything up. And then you also want to make sure that your display resolution for the first two are at 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution your monitor is because it automatically wants to put it at uh, the resolution 4K, which is not, it's just not right. So make sure they're both 1920 by 1080 and only 100% zoom. And then what you want to do is go to the your main monitor and make sure it says extend desktop to display same with the first one make sure they both say extend desktop to display make sure you label your main monitor the one you're going to be gaming on to 
uh, right underneath where it says extend desktop to display. Make sure you make check it and make sure it says make this my main display. So after you do all these, you should be able to go into the advanced display settings. And then once again, go to your main monitor or even your second monitor or like however many monitors you have and change the hertz if it messed it up. So now I should be able to go to display adapter properties and display for display two, which is my main monitor. It'll pull up this little tab. Then you want to go into the upper tabs and click monitor. And then this is where you can change your refresh rate. And uh, it should be there. I don't know what it is. There's some problems. Those are the things you want to make sure you do. You might have to do a little messing around with some of the things because that's what I had to do. If you have any questions about how to do it, I would like be, I would genuinely want to help you because I sat here and went through this struggle not once, but twice because I moved my setup and I messed everything up. So I don't want you guys to go through this. It is the worst feeling ever because you can't, there's no videos on it. I'm hoping you guys find this video if you look it up because it is so annoying. Oh, so it finally, like, do, after doing that, it allows me to choose my 144 hertz on my monitor. Uh, but that's not all. Let me show you something real fast. Uh, one of the things I had to do, it doesn't show it anymore, but uh, in this, like, these settings, uh, where it says extend desktop to display, uh, I think it was, like, the extra one. Uh, I th yeah, I think it was the extra one. I can't remember. One of them, you just like look at it and you should be able to tell. One of them you want to set to so it only shows on whatever number your display is. So my uh, main display is number two. Could be different for you, but what I had to do was select it so it says to only show on number two. So then it would only show uh, it on number two. If you don't have to do it, worry about that, don't worry about it. But if it's like that and you need to like mess with it, make sure you just make sure you only show it on like your monitor that you actually need and then it should then allow you to change it it's very annoying like i said if you need help just let me know it is the most annoying thing in the world uh elgato they did add the display thing to make it so you could see your hurts and stuff because you used to not be able to do that unless you wanted to mess with a bunch of things on your own but uh i'm glad they did that but it still needs a little bit of fixing because it just like they labeled it as plug and play, and I don't know if other people just can plug and play, but I know I've had issues where I plug my algo, I get everything set up, and then it just does something like this, and then you can't play as like how you want to play. So this should make you able to play how you want to play. I hope this helps. Uh, if you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, but uh, yeah, thank you guys, and I hope this really helps you. Peace.